Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcome you back to the adventures of Partia I'll Eat in Bannerlord. Last session we made some decent progress making our way home all the way from uh, this corner over here near Mysia, and uh, we looped around and reached near Kuyaz in the hopes of traveling north through Ortizia and perhaps trading a little bit over here before returning home. On our way over here though, rumors came from the front and we heard that Husun Fulk remains in the hands of the enemy, and in fact they've pushed down towards Kuka as well, moving in to start raiding Doka and perhaps hitting Razi once more. So we're getting a little worried about the situation at the front line, and of course as a result of that, Partia desperately wants to help his people and his nation. So, he has taken on some uh, troops to train, just some local troops from uh, Tulul of Tubilis. Uh, he wants to make sure that uh, he can help however he can. But of course, his aspirations go beyond that. So apart from simply training local troops here and there, he also wants to focus on learning how to raise a proper army. And so... He wants to focus on uh, improving his stewardship and understanding exactly how to uh, to keep his uh, troops happy and how to, in fact, keep a larger party following him. And so he spends some effort in focusing on stewardship, and that's his plan to move forward with, uh, with a keen eye on lessons that can be learned about this uh, particular topic. Beyond that as well, of course, he continues to hope for better capabilities in leadership he wants to get better at it he's taken on these new men and so once more sort of paying attention to everything he can with regards to improving himself as a leader and then beyond that uh, he's also been uh, sort of getting involved in a lot more melee recently and so he wants to train his one-handed combat as well uh, beyond that he has also spent a lot of time uh, practicing out in the field and and, and getting a lot of uh, uh, getting a lot of experience in general and he's using that same experience to further bolster or his general capabilities in dealing with nobles and and you know practicing how to speak with uh, lords and ladies as it were and uh, and with all that said and done he's also seriously considering uh, actually getting his uh, troops trained and ready for uh, serious engagements that might be coming up so the Asari recruit uh, in terms of where these Asari recruits should go we could either make them Asari tribesmen or Mamaluk soldiers. Very interested in having horseback uh, Mamaluk heavy cavalry. And so that's exactly the direction we're going to be going with them with the Mamaluk soldiers. We have two who can be upgraded. The Kuzay tribal warriors, again, they can either go down the uh, raider path or the horseman path. Uh, and the uh, heavy lancer certainly sounds quite intriguing. So we should go down the Kuzate horseman path over there and have, uh, well, hmm, actually horse archers are a lot of fun to watch. So perhaps, uh, you know, perhaps we'll go down the Kuzate raider path actually with our tribal warriors upgrading uh, down that route. Only one can upgrade right now. And of course our imperial infantrymen, these are the ones that have been with us for so very long. We can make them imperial trained infantrymen and uh, they'll be a lot more capable and a lot better equipped. Uh, before we have to decide on which branch to take them through. So let's go ahead and upgrade the pair that we can. And um, apart from that, again, we are training some troops to ensure that happens as effectively as possible. Uh, we want to make sure that we can actually command them separately. So our borrowed troops over here, rather than lumping them in with the rest of our uh, formation of infantry, we're going to separate them into the skirmisher formation. We don't have any skirmishers, so it'll be fine for now. And we'll try and keep an eye on them specifically and try to help them train, of course. Now, with that said, Today's chapter is all about uh, moving into Imperial territory, moving past Imperial territory, and speaking to their potential, you know, future enemies, as it were, and building some relations up there, trading, looting, um, not looting, rather, sorry, trading, taking care of looters, and uh, then looting their bodies to bring those raw materials back home to further bolster our economy, our wealth, and our military down in... Uh, down in uh, uh, Asarai. Now, apart from that, as I mentioned earlier, we are also focusing on learning how to better take care of and feed our troops. So we are going to take on the role of the quartermaster, keep an eye on keeping morale up, and just learning how the intricacies of uh, uh, of that role play out. So uh, we are going to be a quartermaster. Now, folks, as we ride up to Kuyaz uh, to buy some food and hopefully horses as well, just want to mention, if you've been enjoying this playthrough so far and you'd like to see it continue, please don't 
hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Glad to see y'all are enjoying it so far and enjoying the roleplay heavy angle that I like to take. That's really pleasing to see. Uh, so I'm excited to see um, you know how far we can push it, like I've said a few times before. Now, in terms of things to purchase, many of you noted that I purchased some Sumter horses last session uh, while checking my speed. Just to clarify what's happening there is you'll see the cargo within capacity number. It's a marginal uh, debuff, but I was hoping by purchasing a couple of cheap Sumter horses, I'd be able to counteract that. Ultimately, it was kind of useless. Uh, to actually increase my speed, we have to get riding horses, which tend to be more expensive or otherwise unobtainable. Anyway. The reason why I want to be a quartermaster for our clan is to, yes, improve our um, stewardship. But to improve our stewardship, we need to have morale buffs from food variety. So apart from just eating grain all the time, let's go ahead and purchase some uh, fish over here. It's dirt cheap, actually, so we might want to pick up a fair bit. Um, I don't know if I want to pick up that much. Well, actually, you know, that's, that's not bad, paying only 220 for that. We can sell any surplus if we need to, and we can also pick up some, uh, let's see, grapes. No, beer. Beer is cheap. Can't go wrong with beer, right? So if we pick up some beer over here, let's make it um, 10 kegs. Is That's very expensive. Let's make it 5 kegs of beer. Mm, what's that looking like? Okay, that's pretty good. And I do believe if I, let's say, purchase some dates as well, also selling for cheap, uh, we should be able to up morale because of... Food variety plus one. Yeah, exactly. And, if, and the more we have, the, uh, the more those uh, positives go. Obviously, I need variety, not more of the same thing. Um, but I want to make sure that it all lasts a while. Uh, so here, yes, uh, Partia Al-Eat is learning the, uh, the intricacies of ensuring the people are happy and willing to fight uh, to the fullest capability, of course. We already bought fish. We might need to pick up some more things uh, on our way up. Or let's go ahead and pay a little bit on the high side. For some grapes why not not too many we'll just buy let's say 10 of them and that's about 800 or so that we're spending staying above the 1k mark food variety is pretty good and what we'll do is as we uh, attack bandits and stuff across the uh the straits we'll we'll obviously make some money off of that so uh with that said do we have any prisoners among us indeed we do i believe we can just get rid of all of our prisoners nothing too special or specific over here get a little bit of money back from that and uh, it seems we've gained a skill point in roguery now. Okay, fantastic. Um, now, roguery, uh, we're kind of at our cap. So when I get some more focus, I might want to might want to um, spend a little bit of time focusing on roguery. It's not something we're doing much in character right now, which is why I've ignored it. Uh, eventually, I'll want to focus on tactics as well. Uh, but that's as we get further and further along our uh, career as a more ambitious <laughs> trader turned military uh, or... or, or uh, noble uh, type individual but onwards we go and let's see what we can uh, what we can do uh, a couple of looters over here maybe we can chase them down now while I'm training these troops I'm probably not going to use uh, screamer Lord uh, only because it uh, can be a little janky at times and I want to make sure I'm working cleanly for that but uh, you know when we're doing regular battles with our entire army obviously we're gonna use that ag again still been training it oh you're cornered now there we go uh, still been training it a fair bit, uh, and hopefully it'll it'll work out. So, surrender or die, brigand. I'll never take you alive again. Not my intent, so I don't quite mind. And here's how we're gonna do it. I could just auto resolve. That tends to get you better experience, but troops can get wounded, and it's not nearly as fun. Uh, instead, let's move everybody back, and let's get our uh, infantry to train to move up there, and let's get our horse archers up over there. So our horse archers will be helping, and our regular archers will be helping as well. Um, but the main warriors are going to be our infantry that we're trying to train, right? Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Glad I got him. Come on. Come on. All right. So let's go ahead and charge. And let's go ahead and help these guys out to make sure that they don't die. Yeah, there we go. Oh, one of our borrowed troops has died. Great. <laughs> Off to a... Off to a fantastic start. I, I don't think that was just a wound. I think that was a straight-up death. Um, yes, indeed, that seems to be the case. They are very flimsy, which is why you have to be kind of careful. But I do want to send them in with uh, minimal support so they're spending the time uh, getting the work done. I could have helped them a bit more that time around, if I'm completely honest. Uh, and I, perhaps I should have. But uh, one dead man is, uh, is, is not the end of the world. Such things happen. Even the person who gave us the quest uh, recognizes that uh, these things are... Uh, a potential, you know, risk, of course, um, 
training through real battle comes with its uh, risks. So you can see we're gaining skill points in stewardship. And as we do that, just to show you all the effects of it, uh, it will give us bigger party size capabilities. So again, this is the idea is we're trying to learn how to have more people follow us so that we can go and, uh, and, and make a bigger army to fight with. Nothing to purchase here, unfortunately. I could maybe sell some of the garbage we picked up. Garbage, I mean garbage armor, obviously. It feels strange even just calling it armor. Go ahead and get rid of that. Let's leave. And again, we're going to go looking for looters and things like that as we push towards, again, future potential uh, enemies of, uh, of the Empire. Uh, we don't want to spend too much time in Imperial towns and taverns and whatnot, right? And I'm also looking for horses. 241, 249 middling price it'd be nice though it would, it would be nice to help me close gaps uh and you'll see from 4.9 and look at the uh the footman on horses 0.04 when we add some riding horses in it goes up to 0.12 it's a little bit higher um i'm you know what i'm i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna not do that it's a little too expensive it's a little too expensive let's be a bit more cognizant about uh, our uh, our economy shall we <laughs> Can't, uh, can't go broke doing this. Now let's go ahead and check if you have better. No, nope, you do not. Now some villages and towns are focused on producing horses and it would be good to perhaps find some of those and head towards them directly. Olives, not so much. Midlands, palfrey. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up some olives for that food variety uh, and then we'll make our way over to uh, to seventh. And on the way over, why not hit uh, Gamardan over here for some grapes perhaps again food variety but also potential to sell if it's a decent price now nah, i'm only buying if it's green again staying cognizant right of the uh, of the economic situation staying above a thousand is definitely doable and I, I think it's a good place to be considering our uh, circumstances gained a level just like that amazing so let's go ahead and take a look at our new focus point that we can spend on maybe leadership. I'm, it, it increases the rate of learning. We could do it for uh, stewardship as well, and then it'll increase how quickly we keep leveling up. We're almost actually at a next uh, at our next step here. Um, actually, didn't get to do much melee in that uh, that battle. A couple of swings at most. We could help our leadership instead. Uh, maintain high morale. I mean, sure. Let's 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 do that. That makes sense. I would say in character. Let's focus on that and let's go ahead and purchase here some olives yes very cheap go ahead and pick up i i know i'm below the 1k mark we're paying salaries right but let's go ahead and pick up say um 10 let's pick up 20 we'll keep 10. Okay, 340 for olives 340 for olives gotta try and make a profit off of that and i need to make sure i actually find some looters or something we have to oh hello we have to train the people that are with us after all right let's not forget 4.6 versus my 4.8, I should be able to catch you. Oh, hello. Especially if you back up like that. Engalther. That's close enough. Who are you? My name is Partia, sir. I ask your name. I am Engalther of the De Cortain, one of the most illustrious families in the annals of the Valandian Kingdom. I am Lord of Charis. I know your name, and from what they say about you, I say that many a grieving widow knows too. But that is no concern of mine. Well, excellent. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic? I was there. I was just a young squire then. I have heard no sweeter music than the thunder of our hooves as we bore down on the Asarai rabble. We fell on them like a falcon plunges upon a rabbit. They had overextended themselves, chasing the Imperial archers, light foot before our knights. There was no contest. Let me tell you something. Nine-tenths of victory is recognizing when your enemy has made a mistake. The rash perish as swiftly as the weak, and deserve it just as much. We should have gone on to seize all the Western Empire. If Durthert had any manhood, we'd have done so. But his heart was never in the war. He believed he'd broken his oath to the Empire by helping the Sturgeons, and it gnawed at him. He'd have made a fine lackey. Instead, he's our king. All right, well, that's enough of a conversation with uh, you. Definitely, these are not our former friends either, right? So uh, trying to make friends here is going to be an interesting journey of its of its own. <laughs> but uh, over to 7th for those Midlands Palfrey, which will hopefully be quite cheap here. And maybe we can sell those olives. Now, I, 
doubt I'll make too much money over here from them. I'll, I'll have to go quite far. But even if I don't make too much money off of them, at least it'll be uh, food variety. Now, Footman on Horse, 0.04. If I buy these guys, they're relatively cheap, as you can see. Relatively. The Sturgeon Trotter is also riding horse, so I can get three of you. And can't afford six horses. But you can see how much of a difference that makes to our speed. Let's... Um, I, it's kind of funny that the Midlands Palfrey is uh, pricier, even though that's their primary production. Okay, money's looking kind of tight, but the extra speed will help us close gaps, and closing gaps means uh, hitting more looters up. If I can find them, there have been very few in my path so far. Yun of the forest people, you don't interest me. I'm going to start running into mountain... Oh, there we go. Hello. Mountain bandits and stuff soon. Now, we should be a little bit on the faster side when we're not in the trees, right? We should be in the fives, yeah. So we should be able to catch most looters and uh, and bandits, even of the mountains and whatnot. Oh, come on, I've got you basically cornered. 4.9 versus my five. Yes, there we go. And again, surrender or die, Brigand. I'm here to train my troops. Let's go ahead and, and try and make this cleaner than the last one. Onward! Back over here. Get you up there. Get you up there. Get you up there. All right. There we go. Now let's go and soften up our enemies. And uh, you can see how pathetic they kind of are. But we want to soften our enemies up. And uh, that will make it a little bit easier for our weak infantry to do the job. If I can actually, you know, nail some of these hits. Well, our archers are doing decent job. Oh, oh, you turned at the last second there. I don't know. Horse archers on me. Let our infantry go into attack. Looks like we're getting some work done. Good stuff. All right. Ah, I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to soften him up. Think we're doing okay. Yeah, that was quite well. I think that was quite well. I don't know if we lost anyone. Well done, men. Well done. Now our troops back there are watching, of course. But it must be interesting for them as well to see uh, to see training in action. Yeah, one's leveled up. We don't have a lot of time to level them all up. Plundered some gold, that's good. Uh, let me actually take a quick look. Yeah, this is the weird thing about this is like, I don't think that number actually updates. I think it's a bit of a bug uh, or maybe I have it misunderstood. But when I go ahead and upgrade the pair of borrowed troops that are now veteran borrowed troops, it still doesn't update. And I've noticed that with this quest, um, I think every time I've taken it on. Uh, nonetheless, that was, uh, that was, you know, that was good. Let's um, see, food variety is still good. Money's kind of low, but we knew we were going to take that risk as we bought those horses. Hopefully, again, looting some more prosperous looters will happen soon. And of course, we can sacrifice our uh, food surplus or our food variety for a little bit of wealth when needed. Anything here selling for high prices? We can sell the dates off for a decent price, I think. Sell grain for a decent price here. That's kind of funny. Sure, buy ourselves a little bit of a buffer. And let's continue onwards where? Further north, I suppose? Sure, let's do that. Hopefully we'll... Oh, hello. Let's go ahead and chase, and let's go ahead and assist, actually. I'll help Milosha's party, because... Um, we are, again, we're trying to mingle with nobles and, and lords and whatnot, right? So it's a good way to, to potentially get them to like us. Are you going to... You're going to march across the bridge, are you? Okay, well, fine, you do that. I doubt our troops are going to get a lot of experience from this one, but... Oh, oh no! Uh, uh, that wasn't me. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm looking that way. I did not get a headshot with friendly fire. Vengeance for deeds of the past, perhaps. Hundred one gold, listen, I'll take it. Ah, no, no chance of a, of a positive interaction there, fair enough. Oh, hello, forest bandits. Now these guys, five ranged troops. It's not going to be as good for my training, but it would be good for um, for some loot, potentially. I saw those looters down there as well. Yes, as predicted. There they are. Chase them down. I imagine I'll get them. The 4.9 versus my 5. There it is. Beautiful. Wonderful. Surrender or die, Brigand. Again, doing my duty to train these troops into the, into the battlefield we go. This is... Mm, I don't know how battle-intensive this one's going to remain... But, uh, definitely more than usual, I think. 
Where are the enemy? There they are. Hang on, what's our infantry doing there? Very well. Gotta soften these guys up. They're really close. Okay, okay, good. Oh, my horse. How dare you hurt my horse? Okay, we've gone in. Come on. Well done, we've, we've lost one, unfortunately. Let them have this, excellent. Well done. Well done, well done. Well done. Oh. That, I was completely thrown off by, uh, by the initial layout of this battle. Good learning experience for Partia as well. Alas, we have lost. We lost one, but we also taught one. Very uh, poetic, I suppose. <laughs> Very poetic. A little bit of loot we can use as well. Some pickaxe and sickles that we can perhaps um, break down and sell. We might not be able to make it all the way back uh, back home to do that before we need to do it, you know? Uh, but let's see. We can head down maybe towards uh, Inveth over here. See if we can't find some more looters. Now, the scary thing about being over here is that mountain bandits, I think, are a bit more common, as are sea raiders. And sea raiders, if I'm not mistaken, are some of the scariest troops. Let's see if we can't isolate these looters. If we fight them, we'll fight them with our full force, or even these looters here. That's a pretty big force. I'd like to take them on fully, um, as in with my entire army properly, rather than, you know, separate training. Uh, I think they'll have enough of an opportunity. But this is, this will give us some good loot, I think. Surrender or die, brigand. I don't intend to. Why do they always think I want to take them alive? Uh, let's go ahead and move you up. Go ahead and move those footmen up there. Arrows a little bit further up as well. And horse archers can attack. Alright, we should be good. They're coming through. Oh, they're coming across the bridge. Could have pushed a little bit further, I suppose, but our horse archers are working. We really only have the one left. Wow. Hopefully it's just a wound. Hopefully it's just a wound. Yeah, yeah, keep, keep chasing me, keep chasing me. Let's go. I mean, I should probably take this battle a bit more seriously. It is a big number. It is a big number of them. Where did our friend go? Oh, I think he's firing away still. Or at least he's uh, pulled a bunch of them away. Down goes one. That was a good hit. Where has he gone? Down goes another. Nah, he just managed to survive there. Oh, there he is. Looking the wrong direction. All right, there we go. There we go, there we go. Pull these guys back a little bit. A bit more manageable, I think. Oh, look at that, look at that guy back there. Reinforcements arriving, perhaps? Oh, I just missed him. Cut this guy down. Okay, let's get the training going. I think we've softened him up enough. Oh, just missed him. Got everybody charging now. Veteran borrow troops is just such a funny line. Borrow troops are getting some work done too. Yeah, excellent. Oh, this isn't so good. There we go. There we go. Oh man, we are taking some hurt. No, no minimal deaths though. It looked like it looked like a lot of wounds, but no, no, no dying. Enemies are fleeing. I'm gonna finish them off. We'll not let them flee. At least we'll try not to let them flee. Down, you dog. Down, I say. All right, or keep running and take another strike. Oh, look at them walking around with arrows through their body. It's just such a good sight. Still charging, eh? Give them hell. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, not the perfect strike there. That was pretty good. Just missed him. Let's go, let's go. Growing attached to my horse as well. 
Oh, good hit. Not good enough, though. He goes down. This guy's still all right. <laughs> that is a victory. Well done, men. Well done. All right, who has fallen among us? A Kazayat Kankli. Mm. And a wounded uh, Mameluk soldier and a wounded Imperial infantryman. It hurts. It hurts every time. But a good bit of renown and morale as well from that one. And hopefully a decent bit of loot. Okay, almost 150-ish well, gold. That's good. Some prisoners and... Okay, I'll take that loot. Take that loot. Food variety is actually really high now. Uh, and let's just go ahead and quickly check up on our party here. Borrow troops. One more is ready to be leveled up. And how much time do we actually have for that still? Go ahead and upgrade these Imperial recruits. Get a couple more archers. Well, one more archer. Let's go ahead and get you on uh, horseback as well. Didn't upgrade him previously. Let's get him on horseback. Got the money for it. A couple wounded individuals here. Four more troops to train. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, and let's go ahead and chase after these guys. Patrolling, as if looters patrol. Come on now. Ooh, okay. I thought they were going to work together there for a second, but it seems not. No honor among thieves, eh? Oh, they're just... What, they're the equal speed as me? I think so. I might need to drop some of my prisoners off. They're slowing me down a lot. I have to find a city to do that at. Might need to head down to... Uh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're wasting our time otherwise, trying to chase after enemies. All these looters coming with us. All these, sorry, prisoners coming with us. Uh, in tow, in tow, words. Partia is uh, shaken by the cold, of course, not what he's used to. His language skills have dropped as a result. Let's go ahead and, sorry, not trade, but I wish to uh, speak to your tavern. And I guess, yeah, there's no reason to get specific here. Go ahead and trade you all out. And let's also take a look at anything we can sell, perhaps. We have a lot of uh, of junk, I believe. A lot of junk armor we can sell for sure. Actually, let me check these shoes real quick. Other shoes are... Ooh, the wrapped shoes are better. Let's put the wrapped shoes on and then get rid of everything else. Keep the uh, head cloth, the wrong head cloth, and the thob. Done that. Beautiful. And, I mean, I could take a look at trading some of the other stuff that I've got here. Um, anything? Oh, look at that. Dates selling for a really high price. So, fine. Fair enough. A little bit of money there. And grain is also selling for a high price here. What about olives? Olives are dirt cheap here. We're fine. With a little bit of extra money. Any troops to recruit? Not particularly interested in recruiting Valandians, if I'm completely frank. I wouldn't mind a Pavis crossbowman. No. Chase after you. And just quickly wish to check upon eight days we have remaining. Eight days to train, what, four of them? Okay. We should be able to do this. We should be able to do this. And I do wish to purchase some more horses as well to, you know, further ease our chasing. But it seems we're good over here. Just a matter of the open field, the corner among the coast. There you have it. There you have it. Surrender or die, brigand. There's nine of them. It is dark, so I'll do a little bit of post work to brighten the screen a bit so it's easier to see. Um, but let's go ahead and arrange our troops again, as usual. Just follow everyone else back. Get our groups to train up front, our archers right behind them, and our cavalry. Uh, let's actually get them to follow me. There's the enemy. It's the one man. And we have other cavalry as well now. Our archers, actually, I could have posted them up here to fire freely if I wanted to be super, you know, <laughs> uh, on top of things, but we're fine now. A little bit of damage done. Okay, let's get our infantry coming through. Hopefully we've done enough work here that the rest is easy enough to do. And the archers, you can see, are firing away as well, hopefully. Like, hopefully you can see it. They are firing away. Uh, let's send our... Um, Oh no, wounded Borrow Troop. Borrow Troops are doing okay. Oh no, we're, we're losing some Borrow Troops, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, that's really not good. 
I feel like we've trained half of them and had half of them killed. Don't know how well uh, Partia is going to take that. Definitely triggers some memories from his past. All right, archers, help out a bit more. Looks like Buddy's running away. Indeed he is. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that after hurting my troops. Oof, got him right in the back. That time less accurate. Uh, let's see. No, one more. All right, back to the sword. Back to the sword it is. And by back to the sword, I mean sword to the back. No kill there. Sword to the face instead. Fair enough. Oh boy, yeah, we lost three borrowed troops. <laughs> At least they got one kill among them. Yikes. I feel bad. Partia feels bad, and I feel bad outside of that. Alright, good stuff. Gained a little bit of more stuff. And if we take a look real quick, so I just want to check seven days remaining and how many troops remaining. <laughs> um, or trained, one wounded. So we got, we, we, we were returning about half uh, that we picked up, which, um, yikes. We should wait until our wounded are healed, because otherwise we're not actually getting any uh, training through to the people we need to train. And perhaps let's head down, let's start heading back down south, so that we can return the troops and also we can uh, take a look at, you know, smithing and things like that. Uh, and I just realized, I think my character has, you know, no more focus points, but we have increased in bow. So let's go ahead and get our marksman skill over here. It's the only thing we can do. Increase our accuracy. That would have been helpful. And our stewardship. Oh, we can either be a tax collector to gain more tax from villages, or we are the supreme authority. Plus one influence if ruler. Hmm. You know, neither of these really jump to me as particularly relevant. Supreme authority feels a bit more relevant right now, if I'm completely honest. Um... I'm going to set this aside for now. I should invest in it very soon, but I'm going to set it aside for now. Let's head in over here and see if we can't maybe purchase. Here's what I'm planning on doing. Hmm, nothing over here. And we sell anything at an exorbitant rate? Not particularly, fair enough. Let's just, I kind of want to get rid of this flax. <laughs> it's carrying it uselessly. Wow, they'll, they'll sell flax for an extremely high price, but they won't buy it for a high price. Fair enough. Um, let's go ahead and I was tempted to buy some horses, uh, but no, that's not what I'm looking for specifically. I'm more specifically looking for the smithy here because I would like to, because it requires rest. Ugh. I was hoping to do some now and then do some later. We haven't rested in a while and I don't want to rest until the training is done. Uh, let's head over this way. We've already been south across these mountains, so let's uh, take a different path here and see if we can't also bump into another noble who might tell us more about our... Uh, strange artifact that we're carrying. Oh, mountain bandits. Still healing, eh? Still healing, and we're not in really a rush for gold or anything. Maybe I should just kind of rest at Sargot here. One wounded, let me check who that was. Our borrowed troop is ready for action, all right. We have an Imperial Archer ready for an upgrade as well. First, right, I still haven't rested, right, 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 my bad. These are 12 together. That's obviously a little scary. Let me mix my borrowed troop now with the rest of my infantry. Hopefully he'll, you know, learn by fighting shoulder to shoulder with, uh, with better men. And let's chase after some of these looters. Give them hell, as it were. A little disappointed in my loss of uh, ranged cavalry, but um, we will uh, we'll get them back. We'll, we'll head over to uh, Kuzate territory soon enough and pick some more up. And of course, we're training our own... Uh, Asarai warriors as well to take on the same task. Surrender or die, Brigand. As is the case. And now we can uh, have some fun with Screamer Lord. Infantry! Infantry! Move! Go there! Onward. Archers, go there! Archer, move out. Horse, archers. Horse archers! On me! All right, there we go. Now, hopefully, knowing my luck, the one person that will die will be uh, the borrowed troop. Infantry, charge. There we go. There we go. Come on now. 
keeping an eye on the uh, the kills and stuff as well. Surely we're going to do the work here. I, I don't think our borrowed troops actually got any work done. <laughs> well done, men. Well done. But the young man have some fun as well, please. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Taking on these uh, useless looters. Alright, let's uh, maybe chase after those 12 up there. They are being chased by Euchre here. Engaging looters. Let's see if we can't help him out. Uh, probably arrived there a little too late. Oh, we can help. Why not? Why not assist a little bit? Practice my own archery. Not get any friendly fire in. I was really hoping that would hit. Come on. There we go. Got one kill. Oh, just missed him. Well, he's going down. <laughs> uh, well done. Seems I've uh, gained a skill point in bow. <laughs> I mean, that was a good hit, to be fair. A little bit of gold. No chance at improving relations, it seems. All right, back down. Onward bound once more. Let's see. Uh, I guess we, we have to go through Imperial lands a little bit. Can't really avoid that. Hopefully we'll come across some looters en route. How long do I have on this quest? Whoops. Five days, okay. Keep moving. Well, let's keep moving. No time for rest. No rest for the wicked, as they say. Ooh, mountain bandits. Just infantry. Better loot opportunity, so let's try it. Bit of a risk for our borrowed troop. Well, let's try it. I want to try and return at least half of who we got. Prisoners really slowing us down again, eh? Let's see if we can't stop on a city. Maybe at Ortizia. Or maybe we'll catch him against the coast. Oh, come on. So very close. Any second. We're bounding down on them. And at the tip of the peninsula. What? This should be my battle. I got here first. I got here first. Let's go, let's go. Charge. Be a part of this. Oh, look at that. I, I really love the battlefields. So they, they, they do get pretty interesting. There's a decent variety. Are our troops going as well? They are. We're not going to see any action here. After all that chasing, I won't get anything out of this. Ah. No, no such luck. No such luck. One gold. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We had them. We had them. They were ours for the taking. More looters down here. Are they being chased off by our uh, friend here? Oh, hello. Yeah, it looks like they got caught. Twelve looters over here. Let's try and intercept them. Gained a level in stewardship. Good stuff. And there we go. Alright, this, this, this should be the one. This should be the one, hopefully. Either either learn or, or die, basically, is what I'm saying to my uh, borrowed troop over here. Archers! Go there. Infantry, go there. Horse archers on me. Alright. Let's get to work here. Archers, you can see, are already firing away. Uh, so am I, but not so accurately either. All right, there we go. Horse archers, attack. All right. I want to make sure he gets out of this uh, melee, obviously. I want him to do his little circling. Footman. Charge. There we go. Good stuff. Oh, this poor guy's going to get slaughtered. Though I shouldn't be watching that. I should be watching this. There we go. Run around real quick here. Borrow troop, got a kill. Well, got a got someone wounded at least. Now don't go dying on me. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Yes. Well done, my men. Well done. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? That feels good. Oh. Victory is ours. Gained some renown and morale. And I ranked up. Borrowed troop ranked up. Beautiful. 
All right. Maybe, you know, actually fulfilling our responsibility. Got some Asarai peasants. We'll take them on. And we've got some uh, prisoners as well. Now, uh, an interesting point was brought up about the peasant is that it would be good of me to take them on because they're also, you know, aspirational adventurers. And uh, so we'd probably see eye to eye on that front. Really like that as a, as a thought. This is why I often say as well, folks, in the comments, if you have any thoughts of your own suggestions or feelings or anything like that, excuse me, let me know because I'm all about that. I'm all about that kind of interaction, right? Uh, I don't mind that at all. I thought that was a great thought and uh, took it on right away. Go ahead and upgrade you. There it is. The borrowed troops remaining in your party are now all experienced. You can send them back to Tulul of Tobilis. Send the troops back. Relations improved a little bit. And Tubilis is where again? Tulul of Tubilis. I hope I could... Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Okay, so first of all, first of all, uh, I just want to check his reaction to who came back. You managed to return a fraction of the troops Tulul of Tubilis gave you to train. He sends you the following letter. Oh, dear. Sir, I understand that most of my men are dead. I asked you to try and keep them alive. I do not know what to say to their kinfolk. This is a breach of my trust. So I assume if I'd done better, our relations would have improved a bit more. My apologies, good friend, but they, um, they showed great eagerness. Um, tell, 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 tell the kinfolk that. They showed great eagerness. How, how about that? Let's go ahead and see if we can't trade out some of the stuff we have. We've gained a fair bit of money from that. Um, but let's go ahead and get ourselves above that 2k mark, shall we? And then perhaps we go adventuring, uh, to seek out a, um, so you got a companion. Actually, things will probably sell a lot better at the city. Things will likely sell a lot better at the city. So let's go ahead to Kuyaz. A couple of caravans arriving. Hopefully I can arrive there before at least some of them. And uh, let's go ahead and take... Ooh, mutton pie. Fencing stolen goods. Not interested. Not interested at all. Jame the Angel. Are you a wanderer? No, we're looking for wanderers if we want to find a uh, potential companion and and we'd specifically want to look for someone who is uh who is skilled in the acts of combat obviously so let's first of all get rid of all this armor that we're not going to be using the rugged gambeson is yet yeah, garbage everything here is garbage compared to what we already have make that money good stuff and then wait here for some time i think if we rest for a day we'll uh be able to do a little bit of smithing There we go. The daily gold change lets me know that we've actually rested for a day. All right, refreshed, we return to the forge here, to the smithy. And the first thing to do is, of course, get some more charcoal. Now, what can we do over here? It's not the best haul. We got four sickles, sure. Go ahead and do that first. Don't have all the required materials. What are we lacking? Charcoal stuff. Got another sickle done. And... We are lacking, of course, in charcoal again. Ah, but we're tired. We're tired. Now, I could just trade what we have left. We'll make more than enough money, I think. Six crude iron. And the hardwood we got as well. Okay, we made a little bit of money. I could stand to make more. Uh, sure, let's wait here for some time. I'm going to wait until nightfall and see if I can go back, uh, back in after nightfall. See if half a day is enough rest. It's got to be, right? I understand smithing is a uh, labor-intensive work, but let's see. Refine? Yes, good, excellent. Go ahead and do that. Now, with the one charcoal I have, uh, we've got one last sickle left. I kind of want to do the pitchfork. If I do the pitchfork, I end up with three wood that just I end up in the same spot. So it's kind of pointless, actually. Well, actually, no, I don't, I think. Doing math while recording a video is an interesting experience. So I do that, then I can refine, get some charcoal, and then I can do the sickle, get enough wood, and then I can do the charcoal again, and then I can do the pickaxe. Or... The wooden hammer and the... Well, there's no reason to do those, so let's go ahead and just do the pickaxe. Good stuff. And with that done, we can go to trade those resources. Alright. <laughs> Have to sort that out. Crude iron again. Send y'all packing. Another 144. Anything that's selling particularly expensively here? No, nothing. Now, our food variety is all right, though perhaps we could purchase something that's selling cheaply here. 
Um, some beer, perhaps. Can never go wrong with that. Fish, grain. We have enough beer already. All right, well, you know what? I think we have enough. No, you know what? Let's get some more beer. I just realized I only have the one um, barrel, I guess, left. So let's, whoops, that's not what I meant. Have to buy here. For all that effort, make 20 gold. Very well. Let's also go to the tavern district and just ransom all of our prisoners. Good stuff. Now let's perhaps speak to uh, Alkyria Willowbark. See what uh, her skill set includes. Perhaps uh, she's likely to join us. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Partia, madam. Tell me about yourself. You know, we women suffer greatly when you warriors have your sport. I lived in a village to the north of here, across the gulf. It is a cruel land. There is no strong king, and lords think nothing of ravaging their neighbors' lands. My mother was skilled in the use of herbs to treat disease and wounds. I had a happy, peaceful childhood. Until one day, a month before I was to be married, that was the day my life changed. A band from a nearby village came and attacked us. We had done them no harm. We had never even thought of them as our enemies, but they wanted our cattle. They killed my mother and the youth who I was going to marry and burned our village. Everything, gone. Those who lived fled into the woods. I expect that my kin will soon return to their homes, but I will not. I cannot. I cannot be in a place where I am at the mercy of any beast on the rampage. I will ply my trade among warriors. I will learn to harm as well as to heal, and if the time comes for me to marry, I will live in a land where there is a king, even a tyrant, rather than raising a family amid the war of all against all. Oof. I am sorry for your fate, my lady. At any rate, if you know of a warband who is looking for someone who knows how to treat wounds, I would be grateful. Right now, I'm between jobs. Well, let's see. I could use someone like you in my company. Well, let's, let's think about this. Well, I can't afford that just now. I must leave for now, but uh, I might want to consider a healer. That's not a terrible thing to consider. Um... Mm, but I, I do think I want a warrior. Now, having a healer uh, would allow us to... Um, hmm. Could hire them. No, don't need any other men right now. I'll take a look at the normal recruit panel. Um, a, a, a healer would help us heal wounded troops faster and would help me heal faster as well if and when I get hurt. Uh, so there is value to having a healer in the party. But I wonder if... Uh, if that's exactly what I want, or if I want, um, like I said earlier, like a, a warrior instead. Hard to, hard to say. Now, Lazif Mutton Pie had a job I was not interested in. Is there, there might be an arena here with a, uh, with a tournament active potentially. We could, could try our hand at a tournament. Just came back from, uh, you know, from from training troops, and yes, we lost many, but uh, I think there's a bit of a bit of an adrenaline high that we could perhaps pursue. Red Eye Wooser. Who are you, sir? Let's speak to him. I think he might be a gang leader, seeing as what he's surrounded by. You don't know me. My name is Partia, sir. May I ask your name? I am Wooser. Ask around about me. You'll be told I keep the peace in the back alleys. Well, then I must leave. Uh, right, where is this arena? Right, let's just do this, uh, the menus here. See how we feel about, um, Perhaps joining the tournament. There is one in Kiaz. Like I said, feeling that adrenaline. Feeling on top of the world. We did quite well up there. We stand to earn maybe a southern male coif. I think that's how it's pronounced. I feel confident enough in my uh, situation. Like I said, right? We're feeling, we're feeling good. Let's put down 300. Let's put down 300. And uh, hopefully let's uh, stay on top of our game here. Oh, come on. Turn around. Gotta go for the stabs to the face. Horseback fighting with the spear is not my uh, forte. Well, hopefully it's my friend's forte over there. Oh, got him in the head there. Don't feel too bad about that. Down he goes. Our men are doing quite well, I would say. Nice. Oh, I thought I downed that horse. Oof. 
coming at me when I'm looking away. And killing my friends? No. These are two insults I cannot forgive. Down he goes. Yes, that felt good. Oh, and down I go too if I stay here for too long. Ah, I just missed him. We still have a friend. Let's go and help him out. Go and help him out over here. Nice, well done. And I trampled him as well. You'd think that would do more damage. Nice, down he goes. No, no, stay back, friend. Why, why get involved when you don't have to? Come on. Down with you, down with you. Down he goes. And down with you as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's me against the world. Me against the world here. All right. My horse is pretty badly hurt, but... If I can line myself up nicely, I'll do well. Oh, no. This is not ideal. <laughs> Far from it. There is the other horse there that I could pick up should I fall. Nope, down I go. Oh, this is not good. I thought I felt uncomfortable on horseback. I feel more uncomfortable now. Okay, got some work there. Nice. Okay, 1v1. Nice. Alright, alright. We've got this still. Nice! Yes! 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 Cheer for me! <laughs> oh my. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and watch them. Akira Willowbark is fighting as well. This is what the next round will hold, it seems. Two on two action. All right, who who am I cheering for? Team Red, I think. Come on, Team Red. I believe in you. Not not at this rate. Oh no. Okay. Well, Team Blue. Team Blue, I believe in you, Team Blue. Team Blue's got this. <laughs> oh my. No loss is taken. Okay. Going to be interesting. I think I'm going to be with bow and arrow. Yep, indeed I am. Excuse me. Awfully rude. Nice. Helped our friend out there. Now let's work on our actual target. Hopefully our friend is going to manage after all the help I've given. Come on. Nice. In the knee. Okay, good stuff. Nice. That's That's got to be enough work on my part. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, baby. Fall for me. Not romantically. There it is. Wow. Okay. This is this is the Partia show, apparently. Now it's me against the Mamluk Axeman. We can uh, watch this other round. See who does best. This is the equipment we'll be getting. Money's on Team Red. Come on, Team Red. Oh. Oh, Team Blue doing a good job there. I'll be up against whoever wins this after uh, I win the next round. Well, if I win the next round. Let's not get too overconfident now. Oh, come on. Nice. Team Blue just absolutely slaughtered Team Red there. Yeah, I cheer all you want. Alright, up against an Axeman here. Not with an actual Axe, though. Just with equipment that I can hopefully overcome. Oof. Never nice to take the first hit. Oh, and the second hit. Come on now. Nice, nice. Nice, alright, there we go. Oh. Yes! Glory! Look at them cheer for me. Wait, they don't they don't seem very happy. So it's me against an Aserai skirmisher. Very well. Very well, can't imagine they're too well armored. You go in with the armor that you're wearing, which is why uh, you have to be careful about going in too early, especially when you're Aserai, because your starting armor is pretty weak. Like this man's. Oh, no. Yes. 
Ye or die. I was gonna yell yield, but uh Are you not entertained? Tournament's over, gained some renown, uh earning from bets 481, and got the southern male coif, which I think is how you say that word. Doesn't matter, it's mine. I can say it how I please. Oh, this is not good for Partia's ego. He just came back from, you know, purging looters to the north, training troops for uh, the Asarai, came back down south, won a tournament. <laughs> Gonna do wonders for his, uh, for his ego. Hang on now, where's my... Oh, there it is, Southern Milk. Really? It's weaker than what I already have? Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Huh. When did I get this? I got this in a battle, didn't I? Against some, like, bandits or something, maybe? <laughs> well, at least I got the money, and I suppose I could, I could sell this somewhere where it's worth something. 201 over here, which isn't a bad haul. But uh, I could wait and see if I can sell it for a better price elsewhere. Uh, I do also, however, want to check... Um, how do I go about this? I believe if I go here... Yeah, Partia won the tournament at Kuyaz, winter 16, 1084. Partia is a member of the Alit, a secret society based in the lands of the Asarai. He has a reputation of being thoroughly conventional. That does not sound like a compliment. Occupation noble, though. That, I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. Nothing to do over here. Alright, well, let's, um... See if we can't sell off any of our other junk. Nothing we can really sell here, I don't think. I could purchase something cheaply and, and continue our trade and move towards the um, front line, as it were. But there is still nobles to speak to. Duty calls. Duty calls. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some tribesmen. At least they're a bit higher tier. One tribesman, I suppose. Let's recruit some troops and uh, recruit troops and slaughter bandits down south, and then we'll make our way back up north again. Oh, hello. I say slaughter bandits, I mean, you know, looters and everything. Let's find perhaps some more. Oh, hello, Asarai footman. Don't mind if I do. I could just improve relations with some of these people as well. Take on some quests uh, and have access to these higher tier units that, um, that they're keeping from me. And also, I wish to purchase some more horses when the opportunity presents itself. Try some of the higher one, right? Yeah. Go ahead and do that. And do you perhaps have anything of interest? No. No. Very well. Let's uh, continue on downwards. I could head towards um, Iakis, I believe, or Askar. Make a way downwards. Again, heading towards the core of our uh, of our nation, I suppose. Let's see if we can't find anything else en route. Still, you know, training uh, troops and, and trying to make better friends so we could uh, perhaps get higher tier troops more readily. Uh, down to Ivalitas. Ivalitas? Ivalitas? I'm not sure. Oh, lots of looters down here. Could do a good bit of killing. Sure, let's pick some recruits up. Why not? Or you can see our party size is a fair bit larger now. Um, let's go ahead and pick up some looters. You know what I mean by pick up. Because money, of course, is being drained by our ever-increasing party size. Let's make sure we uh, keep our income up. Unfortunately, we've slowed down. Hmm. Let's get ourselves a desert horse, perhaps. We have the money to spare. A desert horse or two might speed us up by enough. Not troops. Products. Oh, that's not too bad. So we're at 3.6, that's because of night. Uh, plus 0 0.09... ...becomes... ...plus 0.18... Hang on. Do I really want to invest that much? It does make us a fair bit faster. We'll be left with still over, well, just under a thousand. You know what, let's do it. Move faster. Pick up more bandits. Pick up more bandits, and uh, make some more money, right? Get their loot. 41 looters, that would be an interesting fight. Well, let's deal with these eight first, and then perhaps we go chasing after them. Run or die, brigand. Easy. These eight will be easy to deal with. I should also reorganize my uh, formations and stuff. I think we're, um... Oh, I forgot to use, um... 
Screamer Lord, my bad. It's worked a lot better today, I think. I don't think it's uh, failed to hear me even once. Or failed to understand me, I should say. It hears me. It doesn't understand me, necessarily. Stop with the rocks, or I will rock your worlds. Oh. Our archers got him before I could. Well done. We'll, we'll, share, a, we'll share a drink of beer uh, over that. How about it? Celebrate with the men. Let's go. Are, do we have the rock throwers on our side as well? Why do I feel like... Rocks are coming this way too. Alright. You're next, buddy. Men. Charge. Gotta give them some training after all, right? Don't... There we go. Get into combat. There it is. I should have actually charged them in sooner. I keep forgetting that I should want to train them up. <laughs> a little bit of renown, some morale. Definitely need to work harder on uh, on training them. Good. Making money back on that horse investment already. All right. Now, do we want to chase after that large band we saw? 41. We outnumber them still. They have some prisoners among them. Now, actually, before I engage them, I just realized I should touch on the Asurai Peasant. The Asurai Peasant can be upgraded a fair bit. So this is what I mean by them also being people out for adventure, right? They could, uh, they could end up as hired blades or mercenary cavalry if we, if we invest appropriately. So there is a future for them. Now, whoops, didn't mean to leave you behind there, buddy. Sorry. Uh, now, let's actually upgrade some of our troops here. The Asari Recruit, I believe the tro No, the Mameluk is where I want to go, right? Because I want to go... Hang on. Mameluk Soldier gives us the cavalry. Yep. The, the uh, ranged cavalry, specifically. So, Mameluk it is. Just the one. Imperial Infantryman. Train you, Imperial Recruit. How many archers have we got? Just four. And how many Imperial Infantry do we have? Just six. Our infantry line is big enough, I would say. Let's get some more archers. And in fact, as far as the archers are concerned, I keep clicking that to minimize this. My bad. Uh, we can also upgrade one of our archers to be an Imperial Trained Archer. An Imperial Trained Archer looks like this. A bit more armor, it looks like, and probably a bit more accurate and all as well. We can check. You can always check what their stats are. Um... Bow is 15 versus bow is 70. Oh, that's a big difference. Yikes. All right, cool. Go and spend that money. Still above that 1k mark. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take care of them. It should be relatively easy, I think. Should be relatively easy. But uh, it's a pretty close battle. And a battle that I think we'll uh, save for next time folks. We have crossed over that hour mark. I do try to keep these an hour long, and if this ends up being an intense battle, it might last a handful of minutes and take us over that mark I like to keep at. Hope you all don't mind, but it's also fun to have a couple of cliffhangers here and there. A good session, I think, overall. We managed to venture north, speak to a northern lord, or I don't know if we can call them a northern lord. North is a relative term, of course, right? We, we spoke to another lord, made some progress as far as Neretzi's folly is concerned. We should wrap that up perhaps next session in, a, in the next chapter, as it were. And our clan continues to, you know, be rather prosperous. Just some money to be made, easily made, and a companion to be found as well. Uh, and that, I think, is uh, going to be our focus focus in the next chapter, I think. We've done well this chapter in improving our stewardship. In fact, we've uh, even unlocked an entire skill. Our learning continues at a decent rate. We've actually earned another focus point as well. And meanwhile, as uh, as Partia has been still working uh, on this side of the nation, as it were, news has still been flooding through as he visits taverns. And the news is that uh, the war seems to have come to a bit of a standstill. In fact, he is curious to know if... The war is even still ongoing. And as far as what he's hurt, come on, just show me, show me the... Okay, no, it's fine. This is the other way to do it. And it seems, yes, the war is still ongoing, though there's a... Uh, seems to be a bit of a stalemate over here. Razi still stands, which is good to see. Uh, so at least he's feeling a bit more comfortable. Now, with his increased um, stewardship, he's in a position where he can actually keep a, an army or a party of 55, so feeling a bit more comfortable there. But he's going to continue to hone that skill and continue to grow his force. He will, 
as I said earlier, venture north once more, seek out some more nobles, perhaps among the Valandians or perhaps among the um, the Batanians, uh, and maybe even uh, far, far up north to, uh, to speak to some nobles, if they can be called that, of the Sturgeons. Uh, that should give us enough information about Neretzi's folly, and at the same time, we'll make enough money to uh, accomplish the rebuilding of our clan as well. But of course, we'll be kicking things off, folks, with this battle next session. These looters run from Partia's party. Two days from now, same time, the next chapter of Partia al Eats story. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below, folks. It makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, I bid you farewell.